Hey, I'm Dave, and today I'm going to show you how to build a series of unique geometric designs in Illustrator. These things are going to look like they're pretty complex, but the skills needed to put them together, the building blocks, the creative, the creative tools are actually very simple, very basic. So once you get the hang of it, you're going to be able to add your creative flair to these very easily, and you're going to be able to just whip them off very, very quickly. So without any further ado, let's just jump right over to Illustrator and start building these. Okay, so here we've got a canvas set up in Illustrator. I'm going to start off with a polygon. I'm going to put in, I'm going to click once on the screen. I'm going to put in a four inch uh, hexagon, six sides. Hit OK. We've got a black stroke on here, five points. And the first, um, first thing that we're going to do is we're going to rotate this. So we bring up the rotate tool with R. By default, the center point is what will be rotated around. But what we want to do is offset that center point over approximately here. So what we will do is we hold down Alt and then click. And that brings up the rotate dialog box. We want to rotate this around 60 degrees, which would give us six copies in a full circle. And we want to hit copy. With the copy selected, if we hit Command D, we're going to transform again. So that just repeats the last transformation that we did. And all the way around, we hit it multiple times and it completes the pattern. So just like that, we've created this ornate um, geometric design that took uh, 10 seconds. Very, very simple, but looks very complex. This pattern here, I'll we'll just center it up to our canvas holding down alt we can drag out a copy of it and I'll drag out another copy over here and this is just going to show you a quick modification that you could do with the whole with the whole shape selected and our direct selection tool the rounding corners in Illustrator CC become uh, available and we can click and we can round off the corner slightly and it's amazing how much that subtle change changes the look from the very sharp geometric pattern to the slightly rounded pattern. On this version over here with the direct selection tool, we could round these off and the hexagons become circles. So just like that, the same um, base work becomes three different patterns very, very quickly. So you could see how starting with a different shape and a different uh, rotation and a different transformation, you could create a whole a whole selection of these patterns very quickly. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how quickly um, we could change up the process and get a very different result um, with minimal effort. So Command N, we're going to create a new document, keep it the same size, 25 inches square, create that. This time, instead of the hexagon, we're going to start off with a square. So hit M to pull up the square tool, hold Shift to constrain it. There is a square. We're going to rotate this 45 degrees, constrain that by holding Shift. Remove the fill and add it back just a 100% black stroke of 10 points. Make this one a little bit thicker. Um, with the direct selection tool, hit A. We're just going to select these two side points here and round these ones off. Get this really cool looking, um, almost like a flower petal, like a floral shape. With this shape selected, hit Command R to pull up our rulers. And we're going to drag out a guide, align it right onto the center. Hit R again to pull up the rotate function. And center on that guide, hit Alt and click to pull up the rotate dialog box. We're going to rotate this one 45 degrees and hit Copy. Just like the first time around, we're going to hit Command D to transform again. And look at that. Very cool floral shape created. Oh, I missed one. Look at that. There we go. Very cool floral shape created in no time at all. Same thing with this one. We can drag out a copy. And here we can round off these. Oh, look at that. It looks like a little... Uh, proton or nuclear icon. 
little happy accident. I'll drag out another copy. One of the things that I've found is, is neat with this is to sol select just a, a section of anchor points and round those ones off. So not the whole group, not everything all together, just the random selection like that. And it creates a little bit of a variation. Okay, so for our last uh, geometric design here, we're going to do something slightly different. We're going to mix. Uh, we're going to mix shapes. So we're going to start with the polygon. Click on the screen, and we're going to go with three sides, otherwise known as a triangle. Hit OK. This triangle here, we're going to hold down Alt and Shift and drag out a copy. So much the same as our uh, rotate. We're going to do. We're going to repeat that same transformation with the transform again function, which is Command D. You'd also find it in the object menu. Object transform transform again. And now we have three triangles. And we're going to select all of these. Hold down Alt and Shift. Drag out another copy. And then we're going to rotate those 45 degrees. And we're going to pull these down to about there. That looks cool. So we start with triangles. That looks neat. You can round these ones off just like the previous shapes if you want. Changes it up, but let's leave them sharp for now. Maybe just round off the top corners. No, I like them sharp. And then we're going to start, we're going to add in a circle. We hadn't done that before, so we're going to find that center point. Let's group everything just to be sure. Go back to our circle tool. We're going to add in a circle right about there. And then we're going to add in a square on the center point as well. Holding down shift, we'll rotate it 45 degrees and I want to match it up to the points of our triangle there. And just like that, we've created something that looks very unique, built out of the simplest shapes in no time at all. Just to be safe, Let's select everything and using the align palette, just center it up so it is exact. And it looks like our strokes change size with one of the transformations. So let's just make sure that they're all uniform at about eight points. And there you have it. So with these techniques, you can create a whole array of different patterns very quickly. From here, you should experiment with different stroke widths, starting shapes, transformations and what corners you choose to round and that's going to unlock all sorts of different uh, design variables you'll be able to apply these to your apparel designs you're going to be able to manipulate images where you're masking off certain sections and revealing others i, I think that's a good transition uh, from here we're going to jump over into photoshop and demonstrate how i put these together so here's a pretty boring shot i took in uh, downtown toronto just some random buildings. And we're gonna use the geometric masks we created to, uh, to elevate it, to take it to the next level. So I've got one that's copied to my clipboard. I'm gonna hit Command V and paste it in as a smart object. Hit OK. And I get a chance to scale it before it's actually pasted into the document. Let's scale it down a touch right about there. Hit Enter to finalize that, uh, that paste. Now in the layers palette with the smart object selected, Let's go down here to the effects and we're gonna go to color overlay and make the geometric pattern white. Again, with that geometric pattern layer selected, uh, we're gonna hit W, pull up our magic wand and let's go around here and click inside of the geometric mask and holding shift, let's select a few more sections here. Let's go all the way around. Now we're going to go drop down and select the photograph layer. So this could be any photo you've got that you want to just kind of tweak and change up and maybe the photo on its own wasn't working and this is a neat way to just modify it quickly. So we've got this selection here inside the mask. We've got our original photograph selected. Hitting Command J is going to cut out just that section that was selected, just like that. This layer, with this layer selected, let's hit Command T to pull up the transform command. Outside here, we're going to wait until we get the rotate uh, option, and we're going to hold down Shift and rotate this layer 180 degrees so it's completely inverted. Hit Enter to finalize that transformation, 
And now you can see the effect when we open up the, or turn back on the original photograph. You get this really trippy, um, uh, you get this really trippy effect created here where the, uh, the photograph is inverted in certain sections and it's bordered by the, um, by the smart object. So I think this is looking really cool. Uh, the, the geometric nature of the buildings looks really neat where sort of sections become misaligned. You get the sky over here that should have been over here and the windows over here where it should have been sky. One more quick detail we're just going to add to this and we're all done. We're going to jump back over onto the, the mask again with the magic wand still up. We're going to select a few sections that don't have to be the same ones you selected the first time around. Just like this, holding down shift for the multiple selections. We're going to create a new layer and we're going to fill that layer with this orange up here. I think the orange works well or contrasts well with the, with the blue, the blue tones in the photograph. So there's the key command for fill uh, our foreground color. We go option delete to fill it and then command D to deselect. And now we've got this orange. I, I, I'd like to see the original photograph that was in behind there though. So we're going to select our orange layer and switch it to the hard light blending mode. That allows that um, those original background elements to, to show through the orange, which I think is really cool. Um, I'm being super picky here. Just one last final step, the magic wand uh, has a few little artifacts that show up here. Everything doesn't line up 100%. There's just like one pixel off. So what we can do to fix that with our um, geometric mask on top, we can add another layer effect. We're gonna, we're gonna add a stroke, make sure that stroke is white and just add one pixel. So it's not gonna be noticeable um, to anybody, like in the scheme of things, they're not going to know. Oh, there's, there's a big, big chunky stroke on that. But what it does is it just covers up that little gap that was created. So you don't get any of those little jagged elements. So this is going to be handy. Um, if you're printing this at a, at a larger scale, it might not show up if it's just uh, displayed digitally, but I am traditionally a, a print designer. So I always like to be detail oriented like that. So very, very easily, let's group these so we can reveal the, the effect. Took a, a pretty boring photograph and uh, elevated it very quickly with very little effort. So there we go. That wasn't too bad, was it? Hopefully the, uh, my first video here on my channel will, will have taught you something. Uh, my goal uh, with all these videos is to present a few useful nuggets of information and present also a couple variations on what it is that I'm teaching you to inspire you to do your own thing, to, to take these skills and apply them your own way for your own projects and um, just to grow, grow as, uh, as creatives. That being said, if I need to, to do anything better, Leave a comment down below and I will certainly address it. I want to keep getting better. This is my first video, so um, there's probably a lot of kinks in it, but we want to work those out. I want to work those out and uh, get better for you guys. I want to keep learning, keep growing as creative, and uh, bring a few of you along with me. So uh, subscribe if you want to see some more. Uh, hit that like button and uh, follow me on Instagram at uh, Design Wisdom. That way you can share any of your results with me over there and I'd be more than happy to take a look. I want to see what you're able to do with these skills. I want to see where you could take them. Uh, cheers guys. Hope you have a good one.